Hey y'all, it's Nona, and today I'm here with a thrift store haul. Um, this is from the Judah Thrift Store. It's a thrift store that's like mission, faith-based, and um, there's also a food pantry there, um, and it's a few towns away. I bought this little cabinet for $3.99, and I'm going to use it to put some of my jewelry overflow in it, some costume jewelry. I bought these four little wicker uh paper plate holders i like to use these as like risers or to hang on the wall or just anything i think they just add a lot of texture and warmth i got this shirt um it's like a three-quarter sleeve it's very thin material um i'll have to wear like a tank top or cami underneath it um but it's really pretty i love the pattern it's just flowy and I got that to wear to church I got this Chriso box this is like a, I'm thinking a, a nail subscription service uh, I got this for a dollar and it's got the entire kit in it the monomer the acrylic powder the base and top coats the nail tips everything it was just brand new and I got it for one dollar I got this little bottle. It's chipped here um, at the top, but it's bluing. It says right on there that it's Stewart's bluing. I picked up several books. I got Happy, 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 the My Life and Le and Legacy as the Duck Commander about Phil Robertson. Um, I really like him. I know he's kind of controversial, his religious beliefs and whatnot, but I, I really like him. I got this book. It's called Victoria Romantic Touches, Charming Handmade Projects for Every Room. Then I got the Ultimate Knitting Bible. I'm going to try to teach myself how to do a bunch of uh, knitting and sewing and things like that. This is the Quick and Cozy Afghans. This one is Knitting School, A Complete Guide. If I haven't said, I paid a dollar for the hardbacks and a quarter for the uh, softbacks. I got this Better Homes and Gardens, Garden Style, Decorating Ideas for Indoors and Out. 50 Ways to Master Your Sewing Machine. <laughs> um, I really want to learn to, to, to sew and uh, this is the Doll Reader Make and Dress Volume 1. This says it's 1983, and this has paper dolls in it. It's never been used. I just think it is so cool. Then I picked up the Good Herb Recipes and Remedies from Nature. I just thought this would be kind of cool to check it out. I got Unveiling Ancient biblical secrets um i don't know but i just thought i would check it out i got this little pamphlet it's triangles on a roll old and new ways of using half and quarter square triangles to make quilts and stuff I picked up this little magnetic calendar for 2023. Um, this little package of three gift card holders for next Christmas. I thought they were cute with the little red truck. Um, these Swirl Scents air fresheners, Voss's ice cream. Um, this one's vanilla and orange, cinnamon and apple, strawberries and cream, peaches and cream. And lemon and lime. I got all of these really cool postcards. This one says Geronimo. This one is Route 66. Oklahoma. If you don't know, I live in Oklahoma. Little Nani. So cute. Um, another one that says Oklahoma. This one, really cool. 
another Route 66 one. And another Route 66. So I got all of those. Plus this bag of jewelry and uh, buttons and pins and watches and just a, a bunch of junk. Safety pins, sewing notions, uh, a necklace. There's just tons of stuff in here for me to put in my junk jars. Um, and I paid five dollars for all of this. The postcards, the um, the money holders, the air fresheners, the magnet, and all of this. Five bucks for all of that. Um, then I found this adorable little iron. Um, and it has a clothespin. It's made out of wood. And I guess you could like clip a recipe there or a picture or even one of these postcards. I just thought it was really cute. I'm running out of room. They had boxes of Christmas decorations sitting outside for $2 a box. So I got this angel. It's just a plain, primitive looking white angel with some gold cord. And then it has this on it that tells about it. Um, if you want to pause it and read it, you can. But I got that. I got this paper mache reindeer and they had some old florals in it but uh jimmy pulled those out and i'm gonna make my own floral arrangement next year i just love him he just looks so primitive and cute this primitive looking santa claus was in there it's wooden i just think he looks so old worldly uh there was one napkin ring Two Christmas carolers. They're like super tall and skinny. There's a man and a lady. There is this. I think that you can take the bottom off and put something in here to make it smell. This says it was um, Carolina. Handcrafted in Japan. So, I thought that was really cool. That's definitely an old one if it was uh, made in Japan. I got this really pretty uh, candle holder. And this Christmas tree plate. I like the frosted glass. Uh, these gold uh, beaded garland was in there. These crocheted bells, it's three different sizes. They actually ring. There's a red, and then there's a white one that's the medium one, and then this one is the small. I thought they were so cute. I thought I could put them in like a delicates bag and wash them. There was this angel. She looks super old. Um, I love her wings. And I think she's a tree topper. And I was so excited to find her in the box. I got these two. I believe these are crocheted pot holders. Of course, they have to be washed as well. I got this beautiful table runner. And four matching placemats. And I do believe that was everything in the $2 Christmas box. I got two plate hangers, both by Sunbeam. They're brand new. I gave a quarter a piece for those. I got this coffee cup peg rack. It was a dollar. I got this little uh, card wallet for my grandma. I paid 50 cents for it. I got this cute little blue bell. Um, I have three larger bells in this same light blue with these seams on them. And then I have another small one. So this is my second small one. The white one didn't have a bell, if that's what you're tripping on. I got this beautiful Buffalo China platter. Here, Jimmy. 
of this. And then I got two smaller ones. It was $2 for the set of three. And I plan to hang these on the wall in my new library study or whatever office. Um, I got this little mirror to go on my mirror wall in there. I found this adorable shaving mug. It says Mr. Shaving Mug. <laughs> it was 50 cents. You put your soap here and your brush there. And I was so excited to find this for Jimmy. <laughs> I don't think he's as excited as I am. But I paid 50 cents for it. Then I found this absolutely stunning Wexford butter dish. I couldn't believe it when I saw it sitting there. It was it. Inside a box, I opened the lid. It was full of a bunch of just junk, clear glass vases. And then this gorgeous thing was just sitting in there. And I only paid $1 for it. I just could not believe it. Then, I got this stunning amber glass pitcher. And I, it's a cubist, I believe is what it's called. And I paid $25 for this. This is the thing I paid the most for. And I love it. I absolutely love it. I got five of the matching glasses to go with it. Um, the man that runs this store said he had more in storage. And he would get out three more for me when I came up there the next time. So I could have an eight-piece set. So I have five right now. And then the thing I'm most excited about was these. I bought a picture of this beautiful olive or avocado, whatever they call this glass, last time I was there for $25. And today, he had a surprise for me. He said he had dug out a box, and he had eight of these. And so, he gave me a deal for all of the amber, all of the green, the pitcher, two plate holders, and the boxes of Christmas, I paid $45 for all of it. And I'm so excited. So happy. So, anyways, uh, that is my haul. If you like these types of videos, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell and you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Love to all. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Can you say bye-bye, Saint? Can you say bye-bye, Saint, Saint, Saint? Yeah, he wants up here with me. He gets mad when I lay stuff on the couch next to me so he can't get up here. <laughs>